Another one of the themes that was coming up in、uh, quite a few of the projects that we had this summer was people looking at the way that our agricultural systems、uh, are are kind of sabotaging our efforts to keep the planet in good health. Whether it's、uh, the way that fertilizer is used, the way that our waterways are polluted,、uh, the ways that we're failing to be efficient in our cultivation of、uh, the the nutrients that we need,、um, and so the second team that you're going to hear from. Started to combine a, a sense that there is this this challenge, this insufficiency in the way that we manage agriculture, with some of the incredible science that's starting to come out right now around the microbiome. So I know during this、uh, conference you may have heard、uh, some of our speakers talking about the incredible impact that it has, for instance, on a human being's health. Things in their 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 gut bacteria, bacteria on their skin, things that we weren't even tracking 10 years ago, can fundamentally determine the shape of our bodies, how quickly we recover, or if we recover from diseases. So the next team that you're going to hear from, Farm Space, is taking that a step into the area of agriculture and thinking about what might we learn from the microbiome in that arena. So please put your hands together and welcome Farm Space to the stage. And this teaspoon of topsoil could be all of our needs for cancer treatment, for our favorite foods, and for cooling down our planet. Unfortunately, the UN estimates that in 60 years we could lose most of our topsoil and its biodiversity. This leads to three problems. The first one is drug discovery. Only one percent of soil microbes have been researched. Because 99% of them cannot be cultivated in the lab, and from that 1%, we have discovered 80% of our antibiotics. We have barely scratched the surface of the potential of the soil microbiome. The second problem is food production. We could lose 95% of our food that is currently produced in soil. That includes eight of our staple crops: rice, wheat, maize. That cannot be produced without soil. The third problem is carbon. 2,500 billion tons of carbon is sequestered deep in the soil, and that means if it all is released, it can accelerate climate change. And our moonshot can turn this challenge into opportunities by creating world's largest microbiome bank to sequence. And backup soil biodiversity, and to do that, our first product is to create a soil microbiome testing kit, which will allow farmers to sequence their farm soil. Once we、uh, sequence the farm soil, we can learn the data pattern, and then we can turn those data into actionable knowledge. So, action number one is to do soil mining without actually mining the soil, which means with machine learning. We can mine valuable compounds and antibiotic out of the soil data. And action number two is:、um, current study shows that there is a potential in increase of crop yield by three to twenty percent if we can find right microbial combination, which can increase the fertility of the soil. And that brings me to action number three, which is: if the soil is fertile. That also means that soil can now sequester more and more carbon, and study says that nine percent of global carbon emission can be sequestered in the soil if we do it right. We bring to this moonshot experience working at the World Bank, experience at the Microsoft Innovation Center, ten years of computer engineering expertise, and ten years of agriculture and international development expertise. We imagine a world where smallholder farmers do not have to get into debt to buy chem pestic chemical pesticides because they can grow their own organic ones. We imagine a world where food safety control is preventative rather than reactive because you can monitor the harmful pathogens in the soil, such as Salmonella and E. coli, before it ever gets into your food. We imagine a world. Where we can hack the natural process of regrowing one inch of topsoil and make it one year instead of 500 years. Imagine a world where you can be a soil entrepreneur to sequester more carbon in the world and get paid through the carbon market. All of these worlds are possible. With our global database, we'll be able to correlate satellite imagery 
with soil testing data and find the specific communities of microbes that can regenerate the world's soil. We are farm space, soil essence delivered.